Well, it's certainly been a wild Mother's Day. Cold, windy, rainy, even snowy in some places. Our high temperature today, 48 degrees. That's 20 degrees below our average high this time of year. And one thing I want to point out is our average monthly temperature at 0.8, or actually uh, precipitation, rather, at 0.85 we are actually above average now. This rain really pushing us over uh, and seeing some good amounts being reported out there. Anywhere you see yellow on this map, that indicates that we likely got at least two inches of rain. Yeah, that would be in southern North Dakota and in places in Minnesota. At the airport, a report of cl close to an inch of rain there and more than an inch down in Sisseton and 0.81 in Jamestown. With more on the way, you can see on the radar right now, there's plenty of rain out there tonight. A couple of areas where we're seeing the heaviest rain right now. A little break down to the south of Fargo and we'll get a break here as that lifts northward. But right now we're seeing some moderate, even some heavy rain right along Highway 59. Monoman County, the town of Monoman back up toward Polk County. Red Lake Falls likely seeing some rain there and down to Detroit Lakes and also down to the south and west where they've had a little more instability. They've had some storms down in our South Dakota counties today. Aberdeen, some thunder showers around there and along Highway 281, some good rain falling between Edgeley and the Ellendale region as well. So that's the correct rain situation in the valley right now. As we look off to the south and west, that cold air funneling in is bringing some snow to parts of South Dakota at the moment, all swirling around an area of low pressure that's been bringing a lot of snow off to the west. Each it, uh, dot you see here, each icon indicates a snowfall report. They had as much as a foot and a half in the Black Hills and even some funnel cloud and tornado reports in eastern parts of South Dakota. So some wild weather. And as we expand the view, you can see the low right here. It's going to continue moving to the north and east. East. And as it does so, we'll see that rain and precipitation wrap around it tonight and into the day tomorrow. One other area dealing with some wild weather is into the Carolinas. Anna, now a tropical depression moving into uh, the coastal region of uh, North Carolina right now. So we have a winter weather advisory in effect until 7 o'clock tomorrow night for Stutzman County and Foster County because we are likely going to see some more snow there. Along with that, some really miserable winds out there today, too. Wind gusts into the uh, 35 mile per hour range in Jamestown out of the northeast. All of us in the 20s and 30s. And you factor in temperatures only in the 30s and 40s. It's pretty uncomfortable to be outside. 44 right now in Fargo and 41 in Grand Forks. Here's our forecast for tonight. We'll continue to watch this rain lift northward and stick with us off and on throughout the forecast here. In the overnight hours, as those temperatures drop, the changeover to snow happens once again. And roughly in the same area that saw it today, but as we move into the early morning hours tomorrow, it may even expand a little bit farther north and eastward toward the Valley City area and even over into the Grand Forks County area. Whereas the rest of us seeing some rain showers still ongoing as we're waking up tomorrow morning and strong winds too, gusting into the 30s at times. By 9 a.m., this area of snow perhaps shifts even farther east, getting very close to the Fargo-Moorhead area, maybe seeing some mixed precipitation around 9 a.m. and down toward Oaks as well. And if this falls at a fast enough rate, more accumulation happening in those roadways may once again get a little slushy, a little slippery out there as well as those temperatures are near the freezing marks. So be aware, especially in southeastern North Dakota, that your morning drive might be a little rough. All of us dealing with uh, the rain out there as well, and perhaps even up around Lake of the Woods, a little bit of snow mixing in with temperatures in the upper 30s and low 40s. Now by noon, warming up into the low 40s across much of the area, that means we'll see mostly just some rain, and this is going to be ongoing during the first day of our work week, even into the afternoon hours. That'll keep our temperatures once again down into the upper 40s or upper 30s and low 40s. And then by late tomorrow night, it slowly starts to move its way on out. With that, a chance for some snow out east this time, late tomorrow night into early Tuesday. And the wind stays with us too, teens, 20s, and 30 mile per hour range. Again, some snow accumulating a couple of inches off to the south and west. And total liquid moisture, another inch, maybe even two inches possible in addition to what we've already seen. And this will be continuing into Tuesday morning. I think Tuesday we'll actually see the sun. We'll see things start to clear out. And that's when the change happens. We start to see those temperatures uh, rise back into the 60s by Thursday and 70 by Friday. But unsettled weather through the work week. So those of us who have really been wanting rain, we're getting it and then some. Much needed, definitely. Yeah, that's right.